Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about trying to troubleshoot some common problems regarding the installation of Logic Pro 10's additional instrument packages to plug into Logic Pro. I believe this may be a common issue on an older version of Logic Pro 10. And I believe this is most commonly caused when using Logic Pro that might already be installed on a Mac whenever you purchase it. Now, if you're having problems like I did, you might have been encountering problems downloading the additional instrument packs to plug into Logic Pro. Maybe your Mac had Logic Pro pre-installed on your computer, but Logic Pro was not downloaded using your account. So it's having issues connecting to download those extra instruments. And probably because the pre-installed Logic isn't connected to your Apple ID. I think there may be a solution to that problem regarding connecting your ID to you know, Logic using other means than what I'm going to talk about today. But if you don't want to jump through a bunch of hoops regarding hooking up your Logic to your ID, then this may be a workaround for you. I will state right now that I cannot guarantee that this will work for you, but if you want to stick around and find out, please feel free. And if it works, well then great. The way that I'm going to show you on how to do this is by no means the most ideal or practical way of doing this, but it does work. Okay, so we're gonna get in here and look at our Logic Pro that we have open. And we're just gonna look at it. This is version 10.0.4. So this is an older version. It's an, uh, not the current one, obviously. I have already successfully downloaded um, some extra instruments. So I do know that this uh, method works. So we're gonna get into it. All right, so as you may have already done, uh, you're gonna go up to your Logic Pro, up in your tab, click on your download additional content. It's gonna bring up this, uh, this box here and you can go through and choose each and every instrument that you want and, or you can download them all, which was like 70 some gigs. And you know, if you wanna do that, great. Um, but if not, we are just going to select a few things that I don't already have installed on here. So I'm going to click on keyboards in the world tab. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to some other things and I will explain why I'm doing this. Um, I don't actually really want these jam pack rhythm section, but I'm going to add them for this demonstration. Um, but before I run into that demonstration, I'm going to show you what's happening in the background of uh, Logic Pro when it's installing because it does have dialog boxes and loading bars that it's downloading, but it never actually plugs into Logic and you don't have those instruments. And I will show you why this is happening. So if you go to your finder, open it, you're going to go up to your tab on the go tab. You're gonna bring up your computer if it's not already in your sidebar. You're gonna click on your hard drive, double click on it. We're gonna go back up to our Go tab. We're gonna to go to this one right here, Go To folder. And you are gonna type in private slash VAR slash folders. All right, once you have that, you're gonna hit Go. And it's gonna bring us up to these um, folders here. Yours might be named something different, so you may just have to click on some and get to where I'm eventually going that looks similar. I believe it is the one Y that I'm looking at. Okay, and I believe I've already looked at it and it was this C folder here. Okay, now it's gonna bring up a menu that looks very similar to this one. And it basically has most of these uh, folders that says com dot apple dot you know yada 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 um, so what we are looking for is the one that says com dot apple music apps this one right here so what we're going to do is we're going to click on it double click it it's going to bring up another file click it click it now there's no more folders after we click that last one so now as a demonstration we're going to go back to our additional content folder here or our window and we're going to hit install and as you can see it's going to start downloading all of those instruments now this may have already happened to you you're like okay i've already done this and the meters went all the way and nothing installed well i'm going to show you why as an example we're going to wait for this to kind of get on its merry way and this uh, window that we've opened up in our finder in this file 
uh, once I click on it, it is going to show us all of these installation packets for each and every one of these. So we have downloading keyboards, world, downloading base, mallet, all that. So it is downloading at the moment. I'm gonna let it get a little bit closer. All right, now we're getting a little closer to the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and click over to our tab. Now, as you can see, we have these installation uh, files that are here. And once all those bars get done and all the instruments that we have are finished, you're gonna see all of these disappear. So I'll go ahead and put this window up here. Still downloading. Okay, we'll see this in the background. Still downloading those other uh, packages. We're just gonna show you. So as you can see, this one up here just got done and it uh, created a, a slot. So this will be kind of important for the next portion of what I'm going to show you. All of these installation files are right here. This is where all of them are going in the background when these meters are live. Now, as I said before, when every single one of these meters and all these instruments uh, are through loading on these bars, all of these installation packets will be, will be gone. So whatever you are downloading, I will skip ahead right here for something a little later. You click on here on one of your packets and you get info. It's 338.7 megabytes. All right, we're gonna go over here, wait a couple seconds, click on it again. It shows the exact same thing. So that means that that one is done and is no longer downloading. Every time you download these, it's not installing automatically is basically what the problem is. So once all of these download, they disappear and it's not actually taking up space on your hard drive. Not that I know of, because I have tried downloading um, and installing many of these several times, just using this method, trying to figure out why it's not working. And I never noticed it taking up any more hard drive space. And also notice what each of these are called. So these will kind of give you an idea Get info, instrument mallet. So that's your mallet that you're downloading. Go to this one. This is your uh, instruments base. Um, this one is instruments world keyboard, which I actually don't have that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. I'm gonna double click on this one as an example. And I'm gonna continue, continue, install. And I'm gonna install the software. It's gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I've kind of skipped ahead here while I'm at it, <laughs> but uh, I will show you what I am uh, talking about a little bit later. As you can see, it's uh, downloading the files. We're almost done with this last one installing. I'm not sure exactly which one it is, but it is still installing. Here's my installer. The, inst the installation was successful. Okay, now that basically says that I have it successfully installed. And that was a little preview as to what I'm actually going to show you uh, later. But this is just a little example, real quickly. You're gonna watch these up here as soon as this bar gets done. Every single one of them that are downloading are gonna disappear. And this is what's happening in the background whenever you've tried this before, if you've already tried this. Five seconds left. You can see up here, that installation file disappeared, it's gone. It didn't actually install. So that is what you're running into. This is what's happening in the background whenever you're downloading these things. You see those meters running, makes it look like it's installing, but it's actually not. So how are we supposed to get our installation files for instruments? Well, as I gave you a preview earlier, um, okay, so how do you go about downloading those specific ones that you want. All right, so we're gonna to go to our Logic Pro, download additional content. Now, um, if you wanna be choosy about what you download, uh, only a few certain things, then you can go about doing that. So it looks like I'm missing a few things here. So I'm missing a harp in my orchestral. Um, so I definitely wanna add that. Let's do some percussion, maybe a pipe organ and some strings. Uh, it looks like I already have strings installed. So, okay, these are my main ones I want to download. So this is in the orchestral, so with the harp, percussion, and the pipe organ. Now, uh, in order to get all these downloaded, we're gonna have to add some other things 
um, to it that's going to help the installation file because once these get done they're going to disappear immediately so we're going to need something to keep the meters going or those loading bars going while we're installing them in the background so we'll find something that's pretty significant size let's go to our drum machine stereo drums let's see okay this is a pretty good size installation we'll do some alternative kits we will get rid of our legacy compatibility stuff okay so what it should do is install these other things but basically what we want is orchestral harp percussion pipe keyboard we're going to install okay now as you can see our loading bars are starting to do their thing we're gonna go to our finder okay pipe organ okay we're gonna organize these here I want to know what these are so I don't really won't care for that one I want to get uh, nope don't really care for that one that's not one I want um, instrument orchestral pipe organ that's one I want so right now we're 107.8 megabytes let's click it again 107.8 okay so that one's done downloading so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click it right now and I'm going to go through this uh, installation guide and we're gonna go ahead and install while these other ones are taking up time we're gonna put our password in and now it's gonna start installing this file let's check on how our meters are doing we want to make sure we have enough uh, stuff going on uh, in order to get these things going okay pipe organ was not completely downloaded that was my my bad it was still going okay yeah it was still going I should have been watching that and I was not um, Let's see, let's get our ones separate that we want. So this one's one of them. Uh, I don't want that one. Let's see what this guy is. Get info, mallet, that's one we want. So these two. Uh, nope. And you have to be quick about this too. So it looks like our instrument organ is done. So we are going to try and reinstall this again. So now it's completely finished. It has the complete install file. So we'll put in our password and this should go ahead and start installing. And we also have our mallet here that should be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this one as well. So we're gonna install. It's gonna bring up our dialog box, probably once this is done. Okay, uh, the installation must not have completed. Okay, done with that one. Okay, that one is done in installing. Uh, this one's writing files. This is our mallet, our orchestral instrument. That one is down, is done. Percussion orchestral. Now we gotta find our percussion orchestral. This is our percussion, 8.1 megabytes, 8.1 megabytes. We'll separate this one and we will double click this one and we will also add this to our installation file. And as you can see, you have to keep on top of this. You have to make sure the meters in Logic Pro are done while you um, install these files uh, because if it's not done in, um, downloading the whole installation file then it will never uh, completely install when you try to go install it so as you can see we got the pipe organ and we got the mallet and then we have our um, percussion from the orchestral so we are downloading these while these up here are still downloading these are the added things that we didn't really want but it's causing uh, the uh, installation files to continue to download while we're downloading these and after a while should be getting done in a little bit um, all of these will basically disappear my uh, 
logic is acting a little weird because uh, it's still downloading and probably plugging in those new instruments that I've plugged in. Okay, let's uh, let's go to our world tab. It's a little laggy. Uh, and we have our percussion, which we did not have before. And one way to tell if it did successfully uh, install is as you can see, African Kalimba. So let's do African Kalimba. Okay, so we typed in our African Kalimba and this will basically tell you if um, it installed or not. So if you go to uh, the instrument that you are looking for, it will tell you what date it was added into Logic Pro. And it'll tell you right here by the date whether it was successful or not. And it should be the same day's date that you downloaded. So that will be an indicator that it indeed worked. So. All right, as you can see, we were able to download all of those instruments that we needed and are, should be now installed on Logic Pro. And if you don't see them right off the bat when this is done, maybe try closing Logic Pro and then relaunching it and see if you have any. Um, just kind of look through all of your different uh, tabs on the side. You know, it could be your, your ones that are, uh, you know, just apparent right off the bat, your bass drum kit. But if you go to your legacy, there's additional stuff that uh, will be downloaded. If you didn't have the world package installed, this is where you will find it. And it'll be in your legacy tab. Logic, you have GarageBand, um, Jam Pack Rhythm section, uh, especially the world stuff. You can go into your Logic world and it'll, you know what part of the world the instrument you're looking for is, and it should show up. So, as you can see, our loading bar is almost done. And all, just about all the installation files are deleting one by one, bop, 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 gone, 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 gone. And you've lost your opportunity if you did not already install it to click on any of those. So basically that's what's happening in the background. That's how you kind of troubleshoot that problem if you are having it. With the loading bars, you think it's installing, but it's not. Um, it is a little weird how to go about doing that, but it does work. I have been able to install many additional things. This is the only thing that has worked for me, and I hope it was uh, it was <laughs> rather easy to follow. I'm sorry, uh, I am limited by my um, explanation, but I do hope that it is helpful because I know this is frustrating. And uh, so yeah, that's the end of this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If so, please leave a like and you comment. Let me know if it worked. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Until next time, see you later.